not only celebrate your birthday, but what a spectacular year this has been for you. And I want to tell you a story. And some of you know it, and some of you don't. In 2016, Kamina got a diagnosis from her doctor. A very horrible diagnosis. She was told that she had stage 4 inoperable, incurable, metastatic, that means it's spread, and normally when a person has that kind of diagnosis, they'd have six months to live. So as you can imagine, this was painful and dreadful for Kamita, very difficult for her to, to deal with. And she began to express some things on Facebook about what this meant and that she would not be able to see her grandkids and she would not be able to see them play and maybe not even graduate. <clears throat> and one of the most horrific ones that I remember is she showed a picture where they put a hole in her chest because they had to deliver the cancer medicine. So I kind of wrote over and I said, listen, I, I wrote a book and it's a biblical book and I think I can share some of it with you. And I said, there's two things that you need in this situation when you're dealing with a life-threatening situation that deals with death. You need a move of God. God bless pastors. <laughs> God bless preachers. But in this situation, you need God to move. And I share with you, there are two things that you, you can do that can get God's attention. And they involve those twins. These biblical principles called faith in works. Uh -huh. Oh, because the Bible says that without faith is in Please. And you know, you could have a whole church waiting for you. But if you don't want to have faith, ain't nothing going to happen. That's right. And so I told her, you got to have this kind of faith when you have a death and disease. You got to say, Lord, you know I want to live for the next 40 years. You know? But if it's in your wisdom to take me the next 40 days, I'm going to say praise God for whom all blessings are. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the kind of faith you got to have. And she's demonstrated that. She's put on Facebook, she starts saying, instead of I'm doomed, she starts saying I'm blessed. And she starts putting that everywhere. The other thing, we got involved in a situation where mentally ill struggling across the country to start an organization and she got involved working with them and putting in time and putting in money and effort and it's made a difference and today she is cancer free yeah. Yeah. what a what a beautiful thing yeah. so we're going to sing a song by John E. Key yeah. and uh, the word goes like this it says I'm delivered I'm delivered yes here's my story this is your song. You don't know it. Let me tell you. Life and faith. Life and favor upon me. He brought me. God of mercy. God of mercy. He who loves me. He who loves me. Life and favor. Life and favor upon me. He brought me out. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, y'all sound so good. Here's my story. Life and favor upon me. He brought me. Life and favor upon me, he brought me out. Oh, how wondrous is my story. He brought me out. Life and favor upon me, he brought me out. Oh, how wondrous is my story. He brought me out. Life and favor upon me, he brought me out. Oh, how wondrous is my story. He brought me
the top again, y'all. I'm delivered. I'm delivered. Here's my story. Here's my story. Like the favor upon me, he brought me out. You don't know it. I want y'all to keep Let saying. me tell it. Like the favor upon me, he brought me out. God of mercy. The doctors are in there. He loves me. Like the favor upon me. Like the favor upon me, he brought 